Um, so we worked really, really hard on this um, beautiful masterpiece that you're fixing to see. And the boys, Dr. Meglish and Nate Foster, have really worked really hard. And I cannot thank them enough for what they've done. And so I read this play during theater history in Miss Mitchell's class. And I just absolutely fell in love with how I was laughing so hard, but also at the very edge of my seat. And when I realized we had a directing class, I was like, I already knew off the bat. I was like, I'm doing True West. It's a classic play. I feel like you guys are going to be rolling out of your chairs. Um, but as a side note, this play runs like 20 minutes. Um, if you absolutely have to go to the bathroom, I suggest hold it because you'd probably miss the entire thing. But if you absolutely have to go, there are bathrooms on either side of these doors over here. I also would like to say, you know, silence your cell phones, turn them off if you can. Um, and please be kind and courteous to the others around you watching it and you know just feel silent okay and without further ado i would like to present true west by sam shepherd Stuff, okay? All right, I'm not reading it back to you, okay? We, we can't spend all night on this. You got better things to do? <laughs> all right, let's just go ahead, okay? Please. <clears throat> so what happens when he leaves Texas? Is he ready to leave Texas yet? I didn't know we were that far along. He's not ready to leave Texas. He's right at the border. No. See, this is one of the crucial parts. Right here. We can't rush through this. He is not right at the border. He's a good 50 miles from the border. A lot can happen in 50 miles. It's just an outline. Please, okay? We can't spend all night on this. Well, you can't go leaving things out, even if it is just an outline. It's one of the most important parts. You can't go leaving it out. Okay. Okay. Please, let's just go ahead. Please. All right. Now. The guy's in the truck, and he's got his horse trailer and his horse. 
We've already established that. And then he sees this other guy coming up behind him in a different truck. And that truck's pulling a gooseneck. What's a gooseneck with? Cattle trail. You know the kind of gooseneck goes right down into the bed of a pickup? Yes. Okay, yes, yes, yes. It's important. Okay, I got it. All these details are important. I got it. I got it. So, uh, this other guy's got his horse all uh, saddled up in the back of the gooseneck. I'm going to die in front. Right, the guy in front. This guy has suddenly realized two things almost at the same time simultaneous. Okay. So, number one, he realizes that the guy behind him is the husband of the woman he's been <laughs> seeing. <laughs> uh, yeah. And number two, he uh, realizes he's in the middle of the uh, tornado country. What's tornado country? Panhandle? Panhandle. Sweet water. Around in that area. Nothing. No way. And number three. I thought you said there was only two. There's three. There's a third unforeseen realization. And what's that? Okay. That he's uh, running out of gas. Mean, come on. That's what it is. Write it down. He runs out of gas. It, 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 it's too what? It's too real. That's what you mean, isn't it? It's too much like real life. It's not like real life. It's not enough like real life. Things like that don't actually happen. What? They do not chase each other across the panhandle through tornado country. They do in this movie. And they don't have their horses convenient along with them when they run out of gas. And they don't run out of gas. These guys run out of gas. This is my story. And I say one of these guys runs out of gas. It's just a dumb excuse to get into a chase scene, bro. It's, it's contrived. It is a chase scene. It's already a chase scene. They've been chasing each other for days! They do not abandon their trucks. They do not abandon their trucks, climb on, mount their horses, and chase each other into the mountains.
you want to take a break? No. I don't want to take a break. I want to get this done. This is my last chance to get this done. Take it easy. I'm going to be leaving this area. I don't have time to mess around here. Where are you going? Never mind where I'm going. That's got nothing to do with you. I just gotta get this thing done. I'm not like you. Hanging around being a parasite off of other fools. I gotta do this thing and get out. A parasite? Are you are you talking about me? Yeah! You! When I'm the one that when I'm writing them, you're the one that breaks into people's houses and you steal their televisions. They don't need their televisions. I'm doing them a service. Give me back my keys, lady. Not until you write this outline. You're gonna write this outline thing for me or that car is gonna wind up in Arizona with a different paint job. You can't force me to write, to write this, because I was, I was doing you a favor. <laughs> Get off your high horse, will ya? Favor, big favor. Bring you down favors from the mountaintops. All right. Huh. Let's just, let's just calm down and not get upset. Let's just get this done. All right? Please? You're not even going to show this to him, are you? What? This outline. You got no intention of showing it to him. You're just doing this because you're afraid of me. You can show it to him yourself. I will, boy. I'll read it to him on the golf course. And I'm not... I'm not afraid of him either. Then how come you're doing it? so I can get my keys back. Now you got your keys back. Go ahead. There's your keys.
Now what are you gonna do? Kick me out? I'm not gonna kick you out, boy. You couldn't kick me out, boy! Yeah, I know. So you can't even consider that one. You could call the police. That'd be the obvious thing. You're my brother. That don't mean a thing. You go down to the L.A. Police Department there and ask them what kind of people kill each other the most. What do you think they say? Who said anything about killing? Uh. Family people. Brothers. Brothers-in-law. Cousins. Real American type people. <laughs> they kill each other in the heat, mostly. You know, in the smog alerts, in the bush fire season, right around this time of year. This isn't the same thing. Oh no. What makes it 